Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So the other day I was listening to a sister's Google Hangout, and it was an interesting hangout. You know, I like listening to sisters hangouts because you get a different perspective. I mean, we all know how men think like as a man, you know what what men think about a lot of different issues. So it's interesting to hear a different perspective. So this sister was talking about like the disparities between single black men and single black women, basically talking about how there are more single available black women than there are single available marriageable black men. Now eventually I plan to to go into like a, a study of this and you know really do some research and do a video talking about this issue. But for now, I'm just going to assume that what people are saying is accurate, that there are more available black women than there are marriageable black men. And because of that, the sister was saying, well, black women should date outside of the race as an option, you know, have the option to date outside of the race. And also she mentioned just joking around, you know, the idea of polygamy. And she was really being sarcastic and she was talking about Brother Polite as an example. And um, just listening to that hangout just inspired me to do this video. And basically in this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not polygamy is the solution to some of the problems that we encounter in our relationships in the Black community. And I'm going to say the answer for me is no. You know, I don't think that polygamy is the answer to our problems that we face as a community. And I know like a lot of men, you know, like the idea of polygamy in theory. They like the idea of having a lot of wives or a lot of women and stuff like that because we live in a society that promotes this idea of being a Mac and being a player and having multiple women. You know, often people will define their manhood by how many women they can have relationships with or sexual relationships with. So I get why a lot of people think that that's a good thing to have multiple women. But I'm going to explain basically why I don't support polygamy, you know, as an individual. And um, and basically it comes down to like four or five reasons. The first reason is this. I don't think, you know, that most men can be just and fair in a um, polygamous type of relationship. Like if you have multiple wives, obviously you're not going to treat every single one of them exactly the same. You're going to have more of a connection with some of them or with one of them than you do with the others. And I think that that connection or that relationship, it's going to reflect in this polygamous situation. And that woman is going to get more attention. She's going to get more time. She's going to get more affection. And I think that that creates an unjust situation, an unfair situation. So that's the first reason why, you know, I, I wouldn't support polygamy personally. Now, as a Muslim, you know, it is what is called lawful or halal for a man to have up to four wives. But I'm just explaining my situation personally and why I couldn't have four wives and I, or more than one wife and why I don't think that it's a solution to our problems. So the second reason is this, you know, if a man is to be, you know, a true man, he's supposed to maintain and protect his wife or his wives. And I don't think that most men have the financial means to provide for more than one wife, especially in the African-American community. So that's another reason why I don't support this idea of polygamy. Now, there are exceptions where men, you know, people who are wealthy, for instance, they may be able to have more than one wife and provide for them, you know, like these rich people and famous people or whatever. But for the average person, which represents the majority, most of us do not have the means to provide for multiple women and multiple children. Now, there's one thing, like if you don't have like a sense of responsibility, if you're just like these animals, like animals, literally like dogs or cats or stuff like that. You can breed with a lot of people, but in terms of being a man and providing for those children that you have, that's a whole nother thing. 
And I don't think that most uh, men are in a position to provide not only for those children, but to provide for those wives, um, to provide for their housing and their other needs that they have. So, you know, that's the second reason why I'm not a, a fan of polygamy being the answer to our problems. Also, like, I mean, it's a challenge. Um, you know, there are other challenges, and those cha and challenges include just being in a relationship with all these multiple people, like managing time, like making sure that you're managing and allocating your time properly, you know, being able to deal with personality conflicts, like you may have one wife that doesn't like this wife or vice versa. You may have, you know, these interpersonal issues they cause conflict. And then you have to deal with the question of jealousy as well. Like one wife may get jealous of, of you being with the other wife. And, you know, even though like if you may have had this understanding that these this is how the arrangement is going to work. A lot of women, especially in America, are not going to just be happy, go lucky and easy going with that kind of situation. There will be moments of jealousy and that will cause conflict and it will disturb the peace in whatever kind of household somebody is trying to build. So that's, you know, part of the challenges of a polygamous type of relationship. And then also, like one thing that I would be concerned about, like if I had more than one wife, I would be concerned about infidelity. Like if I'm already in a situation where I have multiple wives or something like that. The first thought on my mind would be that the women would probably be stepping out on me. You know, if I'm dealing with multiple women, then why would I uh, be surprised if one of them weren't stepping off and, you know, with somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Like with another man on the side and all that kind of stuff so they could get more one on one attention than what I'm <laughs> what I would be providing in a polygamous type of relationship. So. Those are some of the challenges, and I just group all of those under number three. And also, like for the fourth reason why I don't think that polygamy is a good idea, it's just the concept of equality. It is like fundamentally um, unfair and unequal for one partner to be able to have multiple partners and then the other partner to be limited to just one person, to that one man while the man can go out and be with all these other women, you know? So just that concept in and of itself is one of the reasons why I wouldn't um, support polygamy and like, why well, I don't think it's an answer to our problems. Another issue is like intimacy, man. It's, it's like, if you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship, like one man, with one woman, it seems like you have a better opportunity to, build a more full and deep relationship with that one person than you do have an ability to build with a relationship with all these multiple people. It seems like the more you spread yourself out, the thinner and more shallow your relationships become. So for that reason, you know, I wouldn't support polygamy personally. You know, it just you just have a less intimate type of connection when you have multiple people than you would if you just had that one that you truly love and you truly appreciate and that you have a true bond with, a true friendship with, a, a true flow of communication with. So that's number four. So number four deals with the question of equality and then also intimacy. And then number five, um, Another reason why I'm not a fan of polygamy is because of exploitation. You know, there's exploitation on both sides. Like, for instance, like, it's exploitation on the part of the man, you know, because he's getting to be with all these multiple women and stuff like that. And it, it's exploitation on the part of the woman because a lot of times women who are in these types of arrangements they are only there because the man does have wealth or because the man does have status. So instead of being there because they actually love that man, a lot of times they are there because they love the wealth that that man has 
or because they love the things that that man has or this, the status that that man has or the fame that he has. And that can't be the basis of any kind of real relationship. And, you know, I just think that if someone wants to have all these multiple relationships, then it's better for them to just be single um, than to, to marry multiple people. And it's a challenge, like just not only providing for multiple people and just, just dealing with those multiple personalities and personality differences. Like just from experience, just dating multiple people at one time, like before getting a real relationship. I mean, that alone can be a challenge. Just being married to one woman is a challenge enough um, than to like be with multiple women, create multiple challenges, multiple issues to deal with, uh, multiple challenges. I don't think that that's the solution. And then also just because someone can have multiple wives, that doesn't mean that those relationships are going to be sustainable. You know, those relationships, just like any other relationship, just like regular, you know, a one man, one woman type of marriage, just like those end in divorce often. In a multiple marriage type of situation, you can still have multiple divorces and all that kind of stuff, the same type of issues, especially here in America, given the culture that we have here in America. So for those reasons, you know, I don't see polygamy as a viable option to address the problems uh, plaguing our community. I just think that we need to get back to being um, more focused on building marriage, like more focused on valuing marriage and family life than we have been. We've gotten to a point where it is now the norm for people to have children out of wedlock. And I'm not pretending to be some saint or anything like that. But, you know, when I'm talking, I'm talking to myself and to everybody at once. Um, but it's become the norm, you know, where you have children out of wedlock in the society. And what we need to do is get back to the nuclear family. One man, one woman, and the children. That's what we need to get back to. I don't see that um, polygamy is the solution. I think that getting back to traditional family life is the, one of the solutions that we need to concentrate on. It's something that we need to focus more on. We need to get back to like valuing the family instead of like promoting this idea of the Mac or the pimp, you know, the, the player and all that kind of stuff. So tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.